All right, guys, welcome back to some more XCOM Enemy Unknown. We have a terror attack in Tokyo, probably Godzilla or some shit, so let's get going. And on our team, we want to bring the very best and no one but the very best, so uh, only Susula 53 we may replace to someone else better, and we have no one better. We are, there's a, this is like we literally am down to the last six people, um, but for this mission, we're not going to do that. Um, it's possible, though, for me to equip the guy with the shotgun with a possibly uh, uh, laser assault rifle. Uh, I can't actually use the plasma rifles you see me get because I have to research them, and I'm going to try and get that as soon as I can. But remember, we're only in, like, we're not even at month four yet. We're still technically at the beginning stages of the game, so I'm not too worried. Let's go. You, you can't really judge my progression by how many satellites I have up because I'm rushing satellites because of my monthly income bonus and all that. I figured dropship has arrived. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. Oh, this We've is a fun map. of alien activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. Godzilla! Jerk's not gonna get old. Also, this is a horrible cinematic angle. We're, we're looking at a fucking highway street sign or whatever. Well, uh, we're all out. Everyone out of the Sky Ranger. I know it's uh, warm, but uh, we gotta get out here in the rain. Affirmative, Big Sky. Squad is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your fire out there. We have civilians. Repeat, civilians are in the AO. Okay, so very first things first, we want to shoot the fuck out of these fucking chrysalids before they start like making uh, a ruckus or whatever the hell they make. Uh, so okay, we're gonna finish that one up because we have 100% on that guy. You know, I was thinking actually, I, th I don't think I have a shot on the other one now that I think about it. Yeah, he doesn't even have a fu fucking shot, oh well. Yeah, I think we'll be okay anyways. Unless he misses everything. Uh oh. Uh. Uh, okay, this is giving me, this is giving me my clutch guy. I, I, it just occurred to me, she should have shot him. I probably should have checked that out beforehand, but no, it's a little too late for that. Okay, 70%, that's not good. who else we got. We're gonna head up here with him. Well, like, I'm gonna try and not waste any shots, so... Okay, here, here we have a five. Okay, we can either... We can... Okay, we have a grenade either, either way, because this guy has a grenade. So, it's worth trying to take a shot. Whew. Okay, so what's important is taking down chrysalids. Uh, before they actually are a threat to me. But I think we're okay. Uh, I ca that was kind of scary. But it's a good thing I guess that... Uh, someone brought up an interesting point, which is like, don't move your snipers on the first turn. And I'm like, well... I can see your point. And that's why I didn't move them on my first turn. Alright, let's go see what's up here. Oh ho ho, boy! Hey there, floaters. I'm just gonna trigger everyone. Okay. Uh, we don't actually get sight on this. Uh, you know, I didn't actually know that this would be the case, so let's let's actually move back. We kind we took we kind of just got sight on them now, which is kind of uh, not not the best. I'm, I'm trying. It's a terror mission. I'm trying to play it kind of like rapidly, you know. We'll do this. Now the only thing is, I'm kind of worried about keeping my snipers in that kind of a position right here. Like they're they're still kind of out in the open. I probably should have just moved them before advancing. I mean, it would have been just one turn. Uh, Volkov doesn't have to care though. Volkov gets full cover no matter what. Actually, they both get full cover no matter what, so they they both don't actually have to care. So let's see who we got. Okay, and everyone's gonna watch. 
I mean, they're probably gonna just kill some humans or something. There we go. Machine gun out. Yeah, this is actually kind of insane, though. Like, like, cause you know, at this point in the game, I, I just assumed I'd be getting like heavy floaters or something, especially on a terror mission. That was actually the lowest. Can he actually roll a three damage with that? No, the humming. <laughs> well, she was just kind of standing there like a retard while like they were all kind of surrounding her. Okay, what's what's going on? I don't know why we we're kind of just looking at him. Okay, so there's two there's two people here. Uh, I don't know. Like I was thinking of just opening up with a sniper shot, but let's uh, let's see what's around this corner. Okay. I mean, uh, Dan needs his upgrade, so let's go get Dan. Give Dan the shot. You know, double tap with two snipers. I think not very good. Although very soon I'll probably be looking to upgrade a new team because uh, I want to get some high will players before I uh, uh, before I do anything else. Um, let's. Okay, here we have uh, another guy. Uh, what we what happened was we kind of went into. It's it's terrible because we kind of we kind of he's like right over here somewhere like that we see him. And we can't actually get a sight on him because the car is blocking it. That's right. Okay. So we have a couple of options here. We can um, we can start moving up our team very slowly, I feel like. And I I don't feel safe with moving them any more than I am right now. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh oh, cyber disc. What are we shooting at? Okay, apparently that guy. Well, my heavy is up in the front there. Uh oh, well, maybe he should be on Overwatch. I should really not put my my assaults on Overwatch. Maybe move him up a little bit. He's not actually too useful here. Okay. Well, that's a really good shot. Let's take that. Needs 100% chance to hit. And we gotta hit off. Dan will try and get the finisher. Fortunately, he didn't actually finish it off. Well, uh, I guess, you know, I guess this guy can go and finish him off. I mean, no, no sense in not doing that. Do that. He's got 80%. So I think it's cyber discs. You know, you gotta kind of be careful about that. I, like, I wonder if that can actually trigger the car. Oh, really? I can only save one of them. I guess I have to be be over here. Well, either way, we we win the terror mission because uh, they're not under terror anymore, or whatever. I don't know what it means. Okay. Well, apparently we can see uh, this guy right here. Oh, let's take a shot. Awesome. Uh, I wouldn't mind reloading him. Getting some reloads off. Uh, oh, I'm overwatching him apparently now. This guy, I can't actually do, make him do anything else, so we're just going to end the turn prematurely. So yeah, you only have to save one human for it to be sex a successful terror mission. Now, unless, I unless everybody dies in a horrible, p painful way, then uh, there's no way I can actually lose this mission anymore. Alright, and this guy will just go over here. Mr. Dan. So now I have kind of like a crossfire going on, which is kind of what I wanted to go on here. And we'll just take over this last civilian here. I might as well, like they're, they're there. They're on the way. I feel kind of bad for my assault not having much there. Usually now they'll tell us exactly where they are. Yeah, there they are. Usually, usually they'll kill someone or something else, something other than that. Okay, I, I really don't know what I'm expecting right now. <laughs> Lots of screaming going on. Maybe it really is Godzilla. 
Okay, that's a terrible position for us to be in. Which is why we're gonna bring this guy over. Mr. Shiv will scout. So we're, we're utilizing this full, this, uh, full cover here. Snipers will remain in the back. Uh, I don't know about having Zang- I'm just gonna keep Zang where he is. So we're just gonna kind of go up the, the side here. Uh oh. What am I hearing? That sounds suspiciously like... a chrysalid. And I don't like chrysalids. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move this guy up here. Please, oh god, don't let there be anything. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh boy. It's... you never want to see anything here. Hey, look, this is like the edge of the map, like right here. Now, there's a little bit... Uh, well, there's a lot of map here that we can still kind of, uh... get kind of trapped into here. It, it is kind of like a large map, and there's like a nice high ground here. Usually, these kinds of maps put you at like a positional disadvantage, and they do some purpose. Ah, uh, here we go, Cyberdisk. That's amazing. The fucking sniper you can't shot off. Lady, what was your problem? I guess, I guess we already took our shot? I, I don't really know what the cinematic camera is doing. Alright. Well, Mr. Shit. Uh, sorry, that's not Mr. Shit. Volkov. Mr. Volkov can uh, start it off. I'm gonna call him Mr. Stash. Because this mustache is great. So, uh, we tried to do a headshot, uh, and we couldn't actually get a shot off. But it. Okay, now it's on cooldown. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because I want to get. I like those crits, but they have a. They have a they're hardened, so they don't get actually. They get a little bit of a reduction to crit chance. It's kind of just one of those things I have to deal with. So, um. My little strategy of having a uh, an alternate kind of path to cover up at didn't actually work out, so I'm gonna make Dan actually move back, move back here because this actually this high ground actually is the thing that gave him the shot. All right, let's see what do we have. Let's look at our options. We do have a rocket. Uh, we will be killing a civilian, I think, in the process. But, you know, if civilians didn't want to die, they probably wouldn't have lived in, in the, in the, uh, in the danger Godzilla zone. So, okay. So, let's just say we have this situation completely under our control. Um, now, here's some of our options. We can run the fuck up here and get, like, a double shot off. So, let's actually do that. I want to start using this uh, this guy a little more. Hopefully we're not going to trigger anyone else, and we just triggered crystal lids. Oh boy. Well, that's where this shot is being taken. <sighs> okay. I can't move him any more than I already have. He might actually die next round. Cause I saw another guy right in there. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? I I, I don't want to risk this anymore. This guy comes down now. I didn't mean I didn't actually mean to trigger a, a chrysalid there. Uh, there's another one in the back there, so which means we're gonna probably just try and shoot him. Okay, he's dead now. Uh, unfortunately, we will not. Well, we will not actually be able to kill him. Um, however, we can kind of try and move up here to try and cover him. That's the best we can actually hope for at this point. Uh, everyone else has to Overwatch because he can't move. And is there someone down there? Okay. Thank you, Cinematic Camera. Oh, no, he just decided to kill him. As unprofessional as it sounds, the bite seems to have turned him into a... 
Zombie. Okay. Volkov gets one shot. Uh. Let's see. Okay, so let's not worry about the zombie that we saw down there. Let's worry more about the guy we did see over here. Was I wrong about there being a, a chrysalid here? I certainly fucking hope so. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm starting to second guess myself, and that's not a good sign. Yeah, that person will just have to. What the fuck? Okay, so uh, it kind of glitches out and makes people go on top like that. Um, we're gonna move him right up here. That's too far for the zombie. I'm pretty sure. You will reload, overwatch, 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 overwatch. Okay. Oh god, I wasn't wrong. And he's gonna eat another one. <laughs> awesome shot. What the hell is he doing? It's not a chrysalid, it's a fucking worm. It's just, just like going out the windows and shit. Oh, he had his little... Wait, I thought he didn't have any ammo in that thing. <laughs> okay, this team kicks ass. They're just like all covering each other. Holy shit, he got a shot off there. <laughs> Fuck you, zombie. What the fuck? Why is everyone getting a shot off and I think that this guy might be dead? Or no, he... maybe not? I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I'm, 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 I'm amazed at the same time. How do you get shots off with this? I don't even know. Whatever, we get 100% chance to hit. We'll just kind of hang right here. successful operation you know that I is it my luck that's really like should I should I have lost someone there I was kind of thinking I was gonna lose somebody was I did I just really luck out because I thought I'm like I was sure there's a chrysalid around there and I didn't see him when I went over there so I'm just yeah whatever let's just let's just say I meant to do that I I, I just I don't really get how I even Came out of that in one piece. I, I seriously thought I was like, someone was gonna die. Like, I, like I don't know if I really made any clear mistakes. It was more just like I, you know, I guess I I didn't anticipate certain things. I can't say I've ever seen an operation go that smoothly. Excellent work, Commander. Yeah, you and me both. I like I I just I guess I th I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Anyways, okay, so uh, we can either get d dense smoke here, which increases defensive. Or the capabilities by 20 or you can get combat drugs which increases 20 well and 10% critical chance someone said I should try and get this for uh, another area in this game I guess I'll do that might as well you know it could come in handy okay so now we have extra conditioning which is um, you get a health bonus based upon the kind of equip uh, armor that's equipped so uh, Titan armor is really good for this guy because uh, he gets even he gets even more bloody health than he already has so that's that's really good you know, some floaters out of it, some drone wrecks and shit like that. And uh, Japan is uh, really happy that we've uh, removed their Godzilla Remember, threat. We will be watching. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Japan, Japan's really happy. Uh, Europe is a little pissed. Um, and then, like, I guess that's it. So, I guess we're pretty good. Um, research is going on Titan armor, so we got nothing else. We only got like one buck, so. We didn't do we didn't do that Commanded. the same thing. Our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Uh, we didn't. What was I gonna say? We didn't um, sell them the UFO parts or whatever uh, the UFO things because so that was the the 
the requests we skipped because I want to keep those. Satellite Nexus online. And so now we have a satellite Nexus. And that would be uh, another six we can have. That's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Holy shit, that worked out perfectly. So satellite, so basically this is like a, just to keep in note, I didn't actually know this really, but two satellite nexuses and two satellite uplinks is actually the most optimal uh, layout because you can make uh, things for all the, the countries, satellites. Okay, and coming up on council. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Oh, money. It's another problem of, I, I don't want to raise the panic here either, because, um, yeah, because the panic levels will go up, I think, so. We have a lot of engineers, though. We have, like, 50 engineers. So I think we're good for engineers for now. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for money, because... You know, I've, I have been neglecting upgrades, and I've also been neglecting things like the Foundry as well. Like, if you haven't noticed, um, no Foundry yet. Uh, and that this is not on pur this is not on purpose. I actually wanted to get one at some point, and I I simply haven't had the time. Uh, however, I if I get the money, I'll start building it immediately, and then we'll get some upgrades for next month because people are bugging me about getting some upgrades. So uh, we'll do that next time. So until then, we will be watching.